All right, guys, I'm going to drop this on y'all real quick. Everybody's been talking about the situation with the uh, Matthew Guerra, Savannah Soto case, as horrific as it is, and the two people that got arrested, the father and son that was arrested last night, and they're being paraded all over the Internet. Everybody has their different uh, theories of what happened before the news came out and the arrest report started to leak some information. One of the things in my videos that I've done out of the many that I did do was I mentioned a lot about why I was curious. No one really talked about Matthew Guerra. But, you know, all the sympathy seemed to be going to, you know, Savannah Soto. Well, tonight, ever since the arrest has been made yesterday, the uh, family has came forward and spoken on behalf of Matthew uh, Guerra. Now, I'm going to play what they said, but I want you to pay attention. I honestly believe that he wasn't really talked about in the media on purpose due to the wishes of the family because they seem like private people. And I can respect that. Take a look at this. We'll come back and talk about it. Did you know she was pregnant? Oh, always oh, fake news. So. That is a man accused of helping to hide the bodies of Savannah Soto and Matthew Guerra. Ramon Preciado and his son Christopher arrested last night for their alleged parts in the murders. But today more charges have been filed against the father and son. Christopher Preciado charged with capital murder. Now two more additional charges of abuse of a corpse and alter, destroy, conceal a human corpse. His father, Ramon, is also charged with abuse of a corpse and the newly added charge of alter, destroy, conceal a human corpse. We're also, for the very first time, hearing from the family, Gera's father and stepmother speaking to KSAT today. Eric Hernandez reports they're hoping for the full extent of punishment for both men. Upset, anger, um... All kinds of emotions, all kinds of emotions just going through. Gabriel and Raquel Guerra are breathing a sigh of relief after Christopher Preciado and his father Ramon were arrested Wednesday night in the deaths of their son Matthew Guerra, his girlfriend Savannah Soto, and their unborn child Fabian. That was uh, definitely a, a relief of mine that, you know, I can hold someone accountable. I've been talking about um, justice for the three of them since it started. Gabriel and Raquel say neither of them know who Christopher and Ramon are. According to the arrest affidavit, Matthew and Savannah met Christopher to allegedly sell the marijuana. We asked the Guerras about that information after they had previously stated that Matthew was trying to turn his life around. Matthew Wilson hasn't made the best decisions, um, but, you know, he, um, I make no excuses for him, but whatever he did, you know, I don't condone that at all. Uh, but that being said, like, it, no one deserves to be murdered, period, for regardless of what kind of activity you're in or what you're doing. Now this case moves to the district attorney's office, and the guerra say they want nothing less than the death penalty for Christopher Preciado. Now it's on the DA. Uh, he had said something about uh, the death penalty, and uh, I'm going to hold him accountable to his word. And um, that's the next process for me, is him confirming that. We did get a statement this afternoon from the district attorney's office about the case, and they say an additional capital murder charge could be added for Christopher for the death of the unborn child, but that hasn't been decided just yet. As far as the death penalty after an indictment, the Capital Crimes Committee will then decide whether to seek the death penalty or not. Erica Hernandez, Case at 12 News. All right, guys, that's the uh, father and stepmother, Matthew Guerra, and they... Uh, spoke for the first time. I've never seen him before, but I'm going to tell you something. I do respect him. I like the fact that the husband spoke and he was present. So evidently he was in uh, Matthew's life. Now, I don't know if Matthew lived with them or not, but I mean, the wife was full of tears too. You never know. But the bottom line is that was a positive role model. He could have been following behind. Man said, hey, I don't condone none of the stuff he did. You got to remember, guys, Matthew was what, 21 years old? He's grown. So he's like, I don't condone none of the stuff he do. He said, but, you know, nobody deserved to get killed or whatever. But I mean, the street is the street. Now, as far as the uh, father and the parents, you see them, them people look like they had their lives together. House was well kept. 
dressing nicely dressed. You see what I'm saying? Now, a lot of people might say in the comment section, oh, that might be close to the cameras. I don't think so. I don't think them people right there look like they, they have professional jobs, you know, functioning members of society. and something that uh, Matthew could have looked up to and followed. Now, I'm going to talk about a couple of things in this video. First thing is this. I wonder why uh, Christopher Posado is not being charged. Why, why is what's the big delay about charging for the unborn baby? Most cases, they charge you as two lives being lost when a, a woman is pregnant. I don't understand that. I don't know what they what they what, what's the whole thing. I mean, and then the thing is, she was close to delivery. I don't know if they'll say, I, I, I don't even know. I don't even want to touch that because I don't even know the law on that type of level out there in San Antonio. Shout out San Antonio. But I'm going to tell you this. The one thing that sticks in my head is two things. First thing is this. Let me jump on this. If you paid attention to the video, it says, oh, he has to go up to a, for a committee for the death penalty because the father said, hey, listen. I want the death penalty. Ain't no life in jail. And that's the thing. Y'all, y'all check it out. Men, we direct. You took my son. Why not? Uh, you know, why not take yours? This guy helped this kid. Think about that. Why does it have to come up to a committee? And I want you guys to hear this. Why does it have to come up to a committee to decide whether they're going to take the life of somebody that killed three people? And left horrible uh, circumstances for people to deal with out in the street over nothing. The committee didn't lose no kid. So why would they make that decision? They should always make it up to the people, the, to the victims. Y'all agree or disagree? Sometimes they put too much technicality in things that are basically open and shut. Why would a committee speak on me and my feelings and how I feel about the loss of my child? <clears throat> the loss of my child. When they don't know me or anything. Y'all agree or disagree with that? That need to be strictly up to the parents. Other victims. You know what I'm saying? I harped on this before and I'm going to end it on this. This guy right here, I keep saying it and none of y'all like, damn. Ramon uh, Preciado. Idiot. You got an air conditioning company, bro. Your 19-year-old son should have been out there with you learning that trade so you could keep that business in your family. Think about it. That makes sense to y'all? Your son up here selling uh, weight, I guess, because the way the story goes, they going to him to buy weed. You know what I'm saying? Can't tell me, Mr. Ramon, you ain't know your son was out there doing shady stuff. You probably was with him, funding him. If he was pushing weight, selling weed. That makes sense. You covered his crime up. So that already let me know that you already knew and you had a hand in the shady stuff he was doing. This guy is a major league moron. I don't respect him. I don't respect him. How could you walk up on a gruesome crime scene like that, that your son did and aid and abet him? That's beyond me. But I will say this. I would have made Ramon uh, Preciado's bail just as high as his son, because I'm going to tell you something. He's the one that got put the bodies where they couldn't be found and where they was missing. Some people was missing for days, days. And I don't mean no disrespect to the families. But they was missing for days. I don't know. I think it was five days they were missing. In a car with the windows up for five days, decomposing, they robbed these people, basically, of having the open casket and seeing their loved one for the last time. The father did that. Unacceptable. I hope all the uh, families of the victims, you know what I'm saying, have some type of, uh, I mean, you never get closure but have some type of relief that these two animals is off the street. And I'm gratefully sorry for your loss, man, for real. On behalf of me and I'm sure my community, man, you get our sincerest condolences.
I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason Channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Give me a comment. Tell me if any stuff I said in this video makes sense. This dude right here, Ramon, man, I, I got a serious bone pick for him as a fellow business owner, man. You ain't teach your kid to trade. He probably do know to trade, but you just, listen, 19 years old, you ain't in college. Guess what you'll be doing? What I'm doing until you get a real job and show that you're responsible. You ain't going to be living in my house doing what you do. Of course, this type of stuff happens. But then again, he ain't no leader. And he don't lead by, by, by no type of example. If this boy is doing what he's doing, he's allowing that in his house. If you take a look at him, right? And I know I'm supposed to get out of here. If you take a look at him and how he reacted when he got caught. Oh, it's fake news. Y'all don't know nothing. I, I keep, I'm not laughing the whole situation. But I just keep laughing at that one part. It's fake news. Y'all don't know nothing. Bro, you just did a statement. They're going to find out. That right there screams moron. I can only guess if his son was running him. Because it ain't no way I'm the father and a child going to come to me with a car full of dead people and I'm going to get in the car and take it where it need to go and hide it for him. You guys have a good night.